about how she saw how we were in a in a time of of um like a fragile state, like how a woman in labor is is in a fragile state kind of at the end. I don't know if I'm saying it all right. Is that right, that idea? But how we're in that final stage of pushing pushing in and pushing through. And and I, I felt that that uh, uh, we needed to remind, to remind us of that, partly because I do see that. I see that there's this, this pushing through right now that's happening. You know, I, I hear it from people talking to me. I see it. From, from people that are coming, but I also sense it in the spirit realm. And there is a, a pushing through that we need to remember. And when I think back to, and, and I hope you don't mind this, but I'm going to go into the, the, just a place of, of what it looks like for a woman in labor, just briefly, not too much graphics, don't worry. But I think that, that women that have had babies will recognize and be able to grab hold of this, but I think that we all need to be able to grab hold of this because when there's a spiritual labor and a spiritual birth about to take place, that everyone pushes through. It's not just the women. And so I think that, that God gave us a picture of this in the natural so we can grab hold of it into the, in, in the spirit realm and we can understand what it is to push and labor and travail through these things. And I want to encourage each one of you that your God is faithful no matter what you're going through, no matter what the circumstances around you, that your God is faithful. He is faithful to see it finished. He is faithful to the end. There may be some things where you feel that you want to even blame God for right now, that you haven't seen things travail in your life how you think they should have. Your God is faithful. It is not him. <laughs> it's easy to blame shift. It's easy to turn the shift to God and say, God, you allowed this to happen to me. Or, God, you forgot about me. Or, God, you said this and I'm not seeing it. But it's blaming, shifting the blame in the wrong place. Should you be blaming? No. Not, not at all. Not anyone. Sometimes we make mistakes, we screw up, we have to fix them, absolutely. But there's no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. And God is not saying to you to take a mallet on your head and bang it over your head. He's not doing it to you and he doesn't want you to do it to yourself. The fact is, is that when there is much happening in the spirit realm and when God wants us to move and to push forward, that, that there are, and then when there's things coming against us, we have to travail, we have to push in. When a woman's in labor, there's a, there's a time in the, in the process of labor from when the labor starts until the end. There's a middle time in there that there is a major, major push that has to happen. And in that moment, a woman can say, and I remember saying this, if it's almost done, I can continue. But if it's not, give me drugs. And I'm, and I'm serious about this because there is a moment in labor, right? Every woman who's had a baby will testify to this. And every woman would know if I gave the term for what it is, but I'm not going to do that because there's little ears in here too. But every woman would know that there is a moment, there is a moment where you think you cannot make it anymore. There is a moment where all the pain and every moment of pushing through comes to this accelerated place and you have to make a choice. Am I going to push through? It's the most painful place there is. And that's not even pushing yet. I'm serious, it's before the pushing. But right after that is the push. I believe that right now there are people here that are in that place. It feels like everything that you've ever known, every pain you've ever known is accelerated. Everything in the past that has bothered you, it feels like it's at the surface again. You need to push. Your God is faithful. He has not left you. He is here. It's time to push. And when you know and you can see the end, you can do it. They said to me, you're almost done. I said, then I can do it. You're almost done. You can do it. You're almost done. You can do it. You're almost done. You can do it. Push in. Push in. Push. Your God is faithful. He will not leave you.